Suppose we want to graph the line through the point 5, 4 with slope negative 2 thirds. So we'll begin by plotting the point 5, 4. Since we're given the slope, it's helpful to remember that slope is rise over run. And so this slope minus 2 thirds, we can read this as minus 2 over 3 or as 2 over minus 3. Now, because we like to read things from left to right, it's actually convenient if we always make the denominator positive. So let's read this slope as a rise over run of minus 2 over 3. And what this means is that if we start at any point on the line and rise minus 2, we go down two units. Then run three units to the right. We'll get to another point of the line. And it's worth writing down that if we go down two and right three, we get to the point eight, two. And since this is a graph of a line, two points are enough to draw the line. Or let's try to draw the line through 3, 4 perpendicular to the line y equals 2 thirds x minus 5. So we have a point 3, 4, so we'll graph it. Now the line we want is supposed to be perpendicular to another line. And so remember, the slope of a line perpendicular to a line with slope m will have slope minus 1 over m. So we do need to know what the slope of the line is. And remember that if our equation of the line is in the form y equals mx plus b, our slope is m, the coefficient of x. And so the line 2 thirds x minus 5 has slope m equal to 2 thirds. So the line perpendicular will have slope m equals minus 1 over 2 thirds, which is equal to minus 3 halves. And so we could read our slope as a rise over run of minus 3 over 2. And so this means that if we start at any point on the line, well how about this one, and rise minus 3, go down 3 units, then go right 2 units, we'll get to another point on the line. And again, it's worth noting that this would take us to the point 5, 1, And once we have two points on the line, we can draw the line. Or let's graph the line through 1, negative 4, parallel to the line y equals 3x plus 7. So we'll begin by plotting the point. Since we're talking about parallel lines, remember parallel lines have the same slope. So the line y equals 3x plus 7 has slope m equal to 3. And so a line parallel to y equals 3x plus 7 will have slope m equal to 3. And here it's useful to remember that for any number n, n itself is equal to n over 1. And so our parallel line will have slope rise over run equal to 3 over 1. And so if you start at any point of the line and rise 3, go up 3 units, and then go right 1 unit, you'll get to another point of the line. And again, it's worth noting that this takes us to the point 2, negative 1. And since we have two points on the line, we can draw the straight line between the two points.